So we're starting on Yeonju Rook page. Uh, I'll go first. Jump shite kawashita zenigami ni sara ni keri o ireru. So um, the zeni, the zenigami who um, squirtle. Yeah, the squirtle. Uh, so so the one who is um, kicking something back more is the Donphan. Wait, actually, I don't remember. It, it was Machop, actually. So Machop, who, who's not mentioned in here, uh, I, I guess he jumped and um, kicks the Zenigami who um, was dodging the uh, Karate Chop, I think. The jump of shit, um, I feel like goes to the Zenigami and since Zenigami is jumping to dodge, but it probably is going to mod chomp. <laughs> I'm starting on a bad level. <laughs> uh, Jack, I'm going to go to Shimas. え、帰り気の攻撃を so the Zenigami, so Squirtle, who got kicked. Hi. Um, Kahiriki. That's a Machop, I believe. So Machop's uh, Kokeki, it's. I feel like I've heard the word. Mm -hmm. Um, counter takes reaction. Uh, yeah, it, it means attack. So, mm. so Machamp's attack. Well, while he was dodging Machamp's attack, um, from his mouth, Awa. Oh, stuff. So, awa, I think it must be some kind of move. Hi. Uh, uh, awa means bubble. Oh, so Squirtle basically released the, the bubbles from his mouth. Hi, hi. It's funny that it says, like, so Zenigami has been kicked and he's flown into the air. Somehow, though, he dodges, like, another move from Kaidu Eki. Because he didn't dodge the kick that um, sent him fl flying in the air, <laughs> you know? But apparently he does another kogeki, which he has to dodge and shoot out bubble beams. Musu no awa ga kairiki ni meichu shite bakuhatsu suru. So the innumerable bubbles uh exploded as they um hitted a uh, machop uh andrew onigaichimas just make it a little bit bigger please okay thanks tao reta kairi ki wa mi o mawa Taita. So this is met as an eyeball. Yeah, looking at. So looking at. Yeah. Uh, uh, the... So me o mawa shiteru. So mawa, if you can look at it, it's like a square and a square. And it means like it became a circle. So his eyes started going around and around like an anime and stuff where they got <laughs> roly poly. Right. Spinning? Hi. So his eyes uh, spun because, um, and taoreta means um, to be defeated or brought down. So the defeated Machamp's eyes went 
the, the roly poly, whatever that's called. Yeah. Wait, what? He got defeated just from the bubbles? Yep, because they bakuhatsu. The bubbles like hit him and they exploded. They went. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> like Squirtle gets hit by a kick. Goes flying. It's thrown into the air. It's perfectly fine and then just throws the bubbles and mushroom is done. And he's like, bang! I mean, it's. That's a huge level difference. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't a very powerful. Yeah, that's pr- it's pretty pathetic. Zeni, Zeni! Uh, Andrew, onigaishimasu. Yattaze. Yattaza. Yattaze. That was right. Um, that's. Uh, that, I think it means that guy or that person. Uh, that? Yattaze? Yatsura. Yat, yat, some kind of exclamation. That guy. But yatta uh, with the glottal stop is actually yay! And yattaze is that um, Ash is a man, so he kind of has that ze. He's adding uh-huh. himself more masculine. Hi. Uh, small question. Normally, uh, don't men use also zo, this ze? Uh, can you or... see that again? Like so um, instead of say. Oh yeah, Zo is also masculine, but um, I'm not sure if Z me ha- so Zo has the same meaning of yo. I think Z might have the same meaning as ne. Like get the wait. Mm. Okay, so apparently she shows says Zo is more like. To indicate force or command, mm. so yeah, more similar to you. And say it's like I can tell you or a. Eh? Mm. With well, they say it's light force or emphasis, so yeah, it, it might be similar to ne. I, I would guess ne. Because um, yo became zo, so if it's e eh for ze, so I could see that. It just yatta ne sounds weird. <laughs> it's like, isn't it? Yay, isn't it? Isn't okay, it so the ze here is like, um, it's a modifier. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, a masculine exclamation mark. Hi. It just it's less so than um zo because zo is like the super rude term well it's the super masculine one at least yeah is there a list with like <laughs> that orders yeah. them in order of politeness and rudeness well it's like politeness and rudeness isn't necessarily the right like term for those in or my strength yeah. it's actually more like um relationship status so it's rude to use polite japanese with someone you're close to you know Uh so it's not really like Mm. politeness it's more like you're supposed to use your language to describe your relationship with people and if you describe it incorrectly then that is rude okay so there's a a book that i was reading which has um like this this girl and this guy and they're talking a lot and she always refers to him as like a in in a friendly term by his first name but he always refers to her using the last name mm. so the relationship probably is older what than him she she's Sorry? old so she's probably older than him so he is being polite showing that i recognize that you are older than me but she is going, I am superior to you, but I'm not acting like I'm superior to you. So I'm going to be using more friendly vocabulary with you. Mm. No, they're the same age. They're in the same class at school. Really? That sounds yeah. weird. Okay. Is it just you it's one of them likes the other one more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking more like the girl <laughs> kind of like wants to get close to the guy, but the guy is like... like he's mm. turning her down, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, how much information you can get just from the way you speak in Japanese? 
So yes. it says um that is like super rude. You're right. Zo isn't as rude, but like Zed is like very much, you're purposely pushing an idea, like you said earlier. Like you're saying, like, yeah, I won. Ha! It's like making it more obnoxious than it was without it. You could, all, they also say like it with other things, like, oh, there's snow, and you're just forcibly, very aggressively saying it. But that's interesting. Sorry. So Z is worse than Zol. Okay, I was actually thinking it was the other way around. Nope. So, yeah. so it's casual, but it's not. Z, Z is worse. <laughs> <laughs> How would we ever know this? Hi. Da. Eh. Daku onegaishimasu to kara. To. Katsu pozu. O tori. Zenigami ni kaki kaki yodu satoshi wa jampu shite kita. Zenigami o daki tomita. Okay, so. So, uh, I'm guessing it's the quotation mark then. Yeah. Uh, Gatsu pose. Like, is that the pose? Yeah. He, so, like, you never, whenever he, like, wins a battle or something, Ash does, like, a pose. They like actually have like I guess a catchphrase in Japan, which is the "gatsu pose." The I don't. Okay, so basically, it's the pose he does when he wins. That might be something you have to watch the anime for to see what a "gatsu pose" is. <laughs> hi, hi. Might just Google it. Um, so we strike this uh, "gatsu pose," mm -hmm. and then Zenigami "kaki yodu satoshiwa." Well, Satoshi did something to Zenigami, I, and I don't know what kake yodu is, so... So, uh, the kake part we've seen before in a different word, but the yodu being with it makes it have a slightly different meaning of rushing toward him. So, um, uh, so this is Ash rushes towards Zenigami. Okay. Um, so, champu shite kita... So the um, the squirtle that jumped towards him oh. and Daki uh, Tometa is like he embraced him and stopped him. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, so Ash was also, you know, running toward him. So I think it's insinuating that he stops what he's doing, stops r rushing forward to just hug. I think. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he clearly hugged him, but hi, hi. the rest is probably it, it's, cybertext. It's to catch someone in their in one's arms is the the meaning of it. Dake tome. Dake, dake tome. So you're right. It's like stopping Zenigame from his leap. <laughs> yeah. Like they both jump in the air, then they spin around, embrace <laughs> him. Oh my! So dramatic. Sugoizo uh, Zenigame yoku yattane. Amazing! And the zo is like yo. Sugoi yo, but more masculine because Ash is the kind of person that says ze, so of course it's going to say zo. Uh, Squirtle, yoku yattane. You did great. Zeni, uh, zeni. Jack, I guess you must. え、2人 
三つまとめて投げてきた。So, while they were both being so overjoyed,、mm -hmm. um, 悔しさで、um, I mean, I kind of get the idea of being 悔しい。Mm -hmm. It's like something, it's not anger, it's more like, like anguish.、Oh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, like he's mad at his loss. So,、uh, with,、um, like, I'm going to say anguish in his whatever. Uh, so, it's regarding the other guy, the one that looked like a pirate. Right.、Um, No, I don't know what Zenshin is.、Oh, Zenshin is like your whole body, and Fudu they do is、um, to shake. So his whole body shook in, from his, in,、uh, from his uh, how annoyed he, the, how vexed he was at the fact he lost. Frustration?、Okay. Yeah. Frustration was probably a good way to translate that. Angry. Uh, and so while I was trembling, he took out、uh, the monster ball and moved it to its tree. So, Matomete, Nagete, Kita. So, Nagete, I think it's throw. Hi, hi.、Uh, Nagete, Kita would be to throw back. It does. it... It, it can mean that, but in this case, just don't think, think about it too much. He just, he just threw out the Pokeballs. Okay, so he, he threw out three Pokeballs? Right. At Matomete, which means at the same time. He's cheating. Okay. So, I'm not going to be a little bit. Monster Ball is going to be a カイロス、スリップ、あモルフォンが、サトシたちに向かって突進してくる。So, from the monster ball, th throughout three different Pokemon, I'm not sure who they are. t h e r e some kind of Pokemon.、Um, and those three Pokemon turn toward Ash and everybody. And began the charge.、Uh, Andrew, on a guy, she must. Pikachu a ten man, two uh, uh, two man ball troll, two man ball troll, which is the thunder ball. Volt. Yeah, ten thousand volts, ten thousand volts. <laughs> はい。えー、ピーピケチュー、あーん、ジャック、お願いします。サトシの肩に登ってきたピカチュウは、大きくジャンプして、ガイロスたちにジョマンボルトを。Uh, hanatta. So, notte rather than nobotte, because noboru means、uh, climb, but notte. Yeah, it's climb. climb. <laughs> I often confuse it too, sadly. So, the Pikachu that was riding、uh, Satoshi's shoulder,、uh, it jumped from there, like a big jump. Um, and Towards the, the Pokemon that were coming, he released the 10,000 volts. Hi.、Back. Uh, Andrew, on a guy, she must. So, Samaji, oh, Su Samaji, Baku Watsuga, oh. きてけむりがあたりにひろがる
So I doubt you know most of these words, but it was a short sentence. So it's fun reading practice. Yes. Tsutamaji means um, ter uh, like terrific. Um, bakuhatsu is explosion. Okita means um, to occur. So um, this, this a tremendous explosion occurs and smoke spreads out around the area. Bakuen ga usuri to kairousu tachi wa taorete me o mawashite ita. So once the, the fog, well, the smoke uh, fades away, the kairos, every, everyone in kairos did um, taorete me o mawashite ita. Andrew, can you tell me what taorete me o mawashite ita means? Looked with the swirly eyes. <laughs> hi, hi. Their eyes were all spinning. Eyes were all spinning, and taorete is the same as the taoreta. It means um they were defeated basically, but uh, taorete is current and ta is past tense. Uh, Jack, onegaishimasu. Kaisoku fun no otoko wa gakuri to so the the pirate man hi um gakuito so uh, is a sound effect modifying the una dare una dare do yeah with I know nothing about the both of them. Right. So, una dare do means to he hang your head in shame. And I guess Gakuri just, just kind of like insinuates that he's like sad. Gakuri to una dare te. Hiza, do you know what that is? Uh, I mean, there's a Hiza that's ni. I don't know if yep, that's a kanji. Means ni. It does mean ni. Hiza o tsuku eh? means to. Um, Fall down on your knees. Uh, okay. Right. Pikachu, I mean, what? Uh, just nothing. Is that the? Uh, no, never mind. I'm confusing which scarf. Uh, nothing. I was confusing to go with another thing. I feel like it's the same tsuku as to come close, but um. Who knows? It's tuku from um, to lean on, to put all your weight on. So I guess putting all your weight on your knees means to fall down. That's interesting. Uh, That's interesting, the amount of meanings that tuku can have. Hi, hi. Especially uh, when they don't put the kanji. I know, I hate it when they don't have kanji. Like, please give it to me. You have Furigana, it tells me how to read it. Just give me the meaning. Uh, I mean, yeah, fun fact, I don't want to be too long on this, but the other day I actually read that uh, the, like the, the exam that you have to do in order to become a Japanese citizen, hi. Um, sadly, is mostly hiragana, ah. because most of the people that apply are mostly Chinese or New Japan, so they actually are comfortable with the kanji. And what they're not comfortable with, it's the hiragana. So, um, yeah, that can be tricky. Oh, that's me. Hi. Uh, I've heard that, like, the test to become a Japanese citizen, like, the, the Japanese test is, like, very easy. Like, yeah. And for I mean, probably or something. Exactly. I mean, the guy that. I was reading about he said that you probably can do the test with them for however in order to like fill all the papers that you need you're probably going to need n3 or n2 so mm -hmm. if you have someone to help you you can probably get away with n4 yeah. if not then Hi. you might want to be a little bit better so this me although i mean i don't know i don't think you can live in japan like well with just n4 so 
Yeah. It depends on where you live, though. Like, if you're in Tokyo, there's so much English there. You could probably get away pretty easily with very low Japanese. And then just, like, pay, like, an interpreter to help you with, like, your taxes once a year or something. But, yeah. Anywhere else, you probably would definitely want higher Japanese. Eh, Andrew, onegaishimasu. Hoshi kara. はじまる。どんな問題どんな問題はい。あ、どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな。どんな
Aite, uh, something, te, hands, uh, something. In so Aite long. means um, your opponent or partner. So uh -huh. the you're fighting with the, the Kaizoku was the Aite in this case. And Yowai means uh, weak. So Yowakata Dakeda. It's like, it's just that your opponent was weak. Yes. Hi. Uh, I'll force you to do the next one as well, Andrew. So da te gatari nakata dana. So Brock is saying this. He's the kind of guy that uses so da te. He used that a lot, uh, which means um to nurture. Um, and tariru means to be sufficient. So tari nakata means wasn't sufficient. So he says, oh, he did not raise his Pokemon sufficiently. Mm. I goes, uh, the in here is um, an explanation and dana, he's kind of like softening it, I think, in a masculine way, like dana, I don't know. Like the da is um, the ending of the sentence and the na, I feel like it's the softener. Jack, onigaishimasu. Takeshi ga suki waeru こわえるとえ、テーブルの上に触っていたえ、トグピーか。ショギピ。はい。ちょっと。え、笑った。はい、とわら。そう。うん。Well, broke something. Suki I don't know. What I haven't it is. seen this before, but it just means additionally. So basically, he additionally says this to what Misty said. So he's agreeing with Misty that the Aite was was weak. He says, "Yeah, they didn't raise their Pokemon enough." <laughs> is what he adds. Okay. Uh, so. The Tokepi was sitting above the table, uh, on the table, uh, says Shogepi, Hi. and laughs. Yep. Tokepi! <laughs> so rude, Tokepi. Satoshi tachi ga iru oka kara hodo chikai gake no ue de rakutadan no masashi. Kojiro Nyon Sua Sogan Kyode Satochitachino Batero Miteta. So um from the hill that um Satoshi and everybody are on top of, uh there is a um cliff nearby on the top of that cliff, Team Rocket, which has, you know, Jesse, James, and Meowth. They are looking um through these binoculars at the battle that ash just finished like it doesn't say finished but we but he finished that battle but yeah, he's looking at that battle that ash did uh jack onegaishimasu pikachu no migoto na tatakai buri ni uh sanin wa wade wade to suru uh, so Pikachu's splendid fight, um, booty, I don't know what it is. It's style, so just the way Oh, fought. so it's fighting style. Um, the three of them, and then Horebore Tosu, I don't know what Horebore is. So Borebore, um is um admiringly ad admiringly so they look at him like with admiration they're like wow uh jacku onegaishimasu again hi oh wait sorry andrew okay hi uh pikachu masu masu miga kiga kakate so pikachu shiteru desho uh, so Pikachu, masu masu, 
is um, gradually getting more and more. And migaki, um, if you're brushing your teeth or polishing something, migaki is used for that as well. Um, but in this case, they're saying he's polishing his skills, you know, he's getting some improvement. Uh, migaki ga kakatte is uh, what he's saying right there. The skills are getting more and more polished. Uh, Utsukushi is beautiful. And that was page 48. So we'll start page 49 next week. Very good. Hi. Sayonara. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.